साई त्रयाय विद्महे संजय बाबाय धीमहि तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात् ओ साई त्रयाय विद्महे संजय बाबाय धीमहि तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात् ओ साई त्रयाय विद्महे संजय बाबाय धीमहि तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात् ओ शांति 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 ही ओ सर्व विघ्न विनाशाय सर्व कल्याण हेतवे पार्वती प्रिय पुत्राय श्री संज श्री गणेशाय नमो नमः माय देवी प्रिय पुत्राय श्री संजय साई नमो नमः ओम शांति 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 ही ओम गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देवो महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्मा तस्मै श्री गुरुवे नम ओ शांति 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 साई महिमा टुडे विथ अस वी हैव आर एक्स साई स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम श्री संजय साई विद्या मंदिर हर नेम इज सुबेक्षा झा शी इज वन ऑफ द एलमनाई ऑफ श्री संजय साई विद्या मंदिर and she is also a sai youth she is connected with bhagwan baba since last 11 years and she will be sharing her sai mama with us welcome subhakshya cha me swami always bless you but before you start sai mama let us now watch the ppt she is sent through to us Can you see it? Can you see the screen? Yes, but the slides are not moving. You just bear with me. It's taking its time. Okay, can you see it now? Yes. Okay. This picture is of Subhakshya Chha celebrating Vijaya Dasami, the tenth day of Dasa with Bhagwan Baba. She says it feels very good to get blessed by the Divine Himself. This is this picture is from Charan Puja offered at Thy Divine Lotus Feet by Subhu's family last year in two thousand and twenty two. what a blessed opportunity
And this picture of last lecture by Divine himself took class for the grade 10, the SAE batch 2023. That's when Suvu finished her high school. And this is uh, the picture of token of love and a certificate from Bhagwan Baba on her graduation day. Beautiful. Very beautiful, Sivisha. Now that we have watched the PPT that she sent us through. Without delay, let us invite her for her side memo today. Welcome, Suvecha. Thank you. Om Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Deva Maheshwara, Guru Sakshat Para Brahma, Tasmai Shri Guru Namaha. Om Shri Sai Ram, my humble pranam at the whole divine lotus feet of Bhagwan Baba. Uh, Sai to one and all present over here. Today, I will be presenting my Sai Mahima in the form of a story. So before starting my Sai Mahima, I just like to say that your bond with your Guru or your God is something that cannot be expressed in word. It is uh, so divine that it is beyond the earth or beyond the universe. Uh, but also still today, I'm going to present it. So let me present a story in front of you, a journey of a little girl. The title of the story is Swarga, which means heaven. This story is about a little girl who comes across a stranger to being with, but it soon changes to be the most important, respected person in that girl's life. What I'm sharing shows how sometimes even an unknown person can be your very own by his speech, action, non-judgmental attitude, the sour of love, his teaching, and many more all the factors in life. Uh, so let's begin with the story. So there was a little girl, uh, two or three, three years old. Uh, she had just moved to a new city with her parents and brother. Until then, she used to live in, uh, live in a joint family, being separated from the extended family that too, shifting in a new city, uh, was completely challenging to her. Uh, she was in the face of dealing with and adjusting in the new environment. Uh, quite complicated for a small child at the age of three. One day, a relative of hers living in the same city came to meet them. Uh, that relative had pursued a uh, teacher as a profession. As we were sharing our talks, uh, my uh, the relative shared about her school where she worked as a teacher. Uh, she uh, told us about the motive of the school and about the pattern of the school. Uh, uh, then she suggested the girl's family to visit the patron's place to know about to know about him and to learn more from his discourse. Uh, the girl's mother had a little about a little um, uh, knowledge about the pattern, so she was convinced to visit his place in one go. Uh, then, with the excitement, the whole family visited the place. The little girl was completely unknown to all this. She was so small that she couldn't figure out who they were talking about. During the time of discourse, while everyone was listening to carefully, the little girl fell asleep, uh, not out of disrespect, but because she was not of the age to understand uh, such profound discourses. But later, the girl found out that the girl's mother had a great experience on her first visit. Uh, she could feel the positive vibe and decided to visit the place again. The girl's mother com uh, came to know the programs conducted every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. Uh, while attending the program on Monday or Thursday, she used to take the small girl with her after her school hours. On Saturday, her whole family started visiting to listen, listen his uh, discourse. So gradually, it turned into a rooting for the girl, but still, the girl was unaware of who he really was. As time passed by, the girl connected. Uh, the girl got connected with the patron, uh, but uh, he was still a stranger to her. She was not old enough to understand yet. The little girl had heard that he ran a school. Then a desire of learning at his school started building up in her mind. 
As a date, time passed slowly until one day the girl found out that the pattern has shifted to a new place. The routine of going on Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturday followed. The girl started visiting there Saturday without a miss. Uh, she found his discourse very soothing, even though she only understood a little bit. The girl felt at peace when she was around him, as if some aura was protecting her. Uh, she sometimes would feel how good it would be if her family could live close by. Um, and as you know, time, Samay, is very powerful. It kept, on, it kept on moving and moving until one day the girl's prayer were answered. Uh, you can say it was God's grace that the girl got a new house near to the patron's new place. Uh, they started getting more regular visiting his place. Festivals felt incomplete without visiting him. With the passing of time, he turned uh, into more than a family member, putting Dossi Tika from his hand, uh, visiting him for Krishna Zanmasmi, and many other festivals became a routine for the family in the life. Uh, even though time kept on passing, the girl never got a chance to talk with him. Until one day, there was some puja going on in his place. At his place, uh, during the time of puja, she showed her desire to take part during RP. Her prayer, uh, her prayer somehow reached him. Uh, here, hymns denotes the patron. Uh, luckily, she got a chance to fan the object made up of uh, peacock feathers, which is also known as Mayur punk. After the RP, the patron called her. It was the first time the girl was coming in proximity with the patron. She was nervous and she couldn't reply properly. Uh, he talked in a way of comforting her and gave her a banana as prasadam and even asked her to join his school. Uh, the girl was up and above the sky that day. Uh, every time she called out to him, her prayers got answered. This is what the power of divine is. The girl felt uh, this itself is a miracle. Her process of visiting him continued. One day during Dosai, Dosera, which is also known as Navratri, uh, she was roaming around in his place when the patron's sister came to call the little girl. She was offered to become a Kumari. The girl readily accepted it. The girl felt she was so fortunate that among so many girls present over there, she was blessed with a golden opportunity. Uh, with the time, the stranger has changed to someone very important in her life. She slowly understood. Uh, she slowly understood the importance of his divine presence. She also understood how his energy protected her. She started accepting him as her god. Okay, so one of the uh, festival is Mangi Sankranti. So now this is an incident on Mag uh, which happened during Mangi Sankranti. So one day during Mangi Sankranti, the girl again visited him. Uh, she knelt in front of him to take the blessing of the oil in the girl's head. This is one of the culture performed during Mangi Sankranti. Uh, then he called her Nakkali. Can you even imagine how her glee was? She was so happy to be nicknamed by him. Um, by this uh, time, the girl had already accepted him as her god, so even the smallest action from her divine would go get her excited. As the time passed, the girl got to know that her god has opened a school and the school is now shifting uh, to somewhere near her house. One day, keeping the desire of her child in the mind, the girl's mother told her that the school is being shifted near to their place and if the little girl is interested to study in his school. Uh, was that even a question to ask? She didn't even stop to think for a second. The girl readily accepted. The girl filled in the form and was called for the entrance exam. At the time of exam, she thought she wasn't going to pass. She lost all her confidence. Uh, she started remembering her God as it uh, is said, God will never let us down. Our God will never let you down. Uh, likewise, the God passed the exam. Uh, Bhagwan had heard the God's prayer. Then it was the day of the interview where the God was nervous again. On the day of the God's interview, her mother was not feeling well. Despite not having good health on that day, the God and the mom and the mother both visited the school. He was there to take the interview. Everything went well. Even her mother started feeling better. Uh, the girl passed the interview and she now 
was going to start studying in his school. Can you imagine her happiness and the excitement? Uh, while studying at his school, the god realized that he is not just a guru, god to him, but also a guru. She got the chance to study in his school for five years. She was blessed to learn all about spirituality, the importance of human values, uh, the impact of chants, hymns. Uh, the girl got to learn the importance of having a guru in her life. She slowly started understanding why when she was little, she wanted to be close to him. And even now, she wants to be close to him. His positive energy, his value talks, his aura, his grace was around her, protecting her. Now the little girl has grown up and last year she completed her grade 10 with 93.75 percentage. She now has joined modern Indian school for higher studies. Uh, she, now feels, uh, she now feels her imp how important her school was for her. The upbringing, the discipline, the dedication, devotion to our gods that we are not seeing around these days, the respect that uh, is taught, she misses everything. To enhance her hobby, she is also provided with an opportunity of clicking the special photos during the programs. She now can join youth classes, which is taken by Bhagwan himself every Saturday. She feels blessed to be a part of his mission. Mission, by this term, I guess you all are clarified whom I am talking about. You all are right. Uh, the pattern in this story is our Swami, Bhagwan Sri Sanji Sai Baba, and the girl in the story denotes me. The whole story is related to my experience with Baba, and it is offered at thy divine lotus feet. Although, although I didn't know him in the beginning, as I was too small, uh, now I know that he was never a stranger to me. Besides, he's the only person I totally relate to. Uh, yes, in human form, we all are related to each other, but spiritually, spiritually, he's the only one whom we are truly related to. All the relations that we are bonded with in, in a human life are Muhammaya, and all, the only relation we have with is our God. The true relation is a relation of a God and his child. That's why it is said, Bhagwan Bina Koi Apna Nahi. Now let's go back to the title of the story. I named the story Swarga because the Swa, S-W-A, as in the three alphabet, that has come from the word Swami, and the four letters, Arga, A-R-G-A, came from the word Marga, which uh, put together means Swami Komarga or Sai Komarga, divine Sai Path. Uh, sometimes a stranger can come into your life to completely change you. Someone who could be the one and only one who you truly uh, truly relate to. Uh, you just need to see, it in, see inside you. That's what even Sai means, see always inside. Keep your heart wide open and your mind free of thoughts. You will find God inside you. A guru guides you to find your God. With this last parting, uh, Last parting words, I would like to conclude my Sai Mahima here. If I have made any mistake while sharing my experience, Baba, please forgive me. Thank you. Anitha sari nam nasti, tome vasari nam mama, tasma dhkaru nebhave na rakche rakche sa ishwara, rakche rakche jagad ishwara, rakche rakche maheshwara. Om Shri Sai Ram. Thank you, Subhikshya Shah, for your beautiful journey with Sai. Ashram is truthfully Aswarga. Your Sai Mema took us through your journey, your respect, your love, your devotion towards Bhagwan Baba. You did speak from your heart about Bhagwan Baba. His aura protecting you as a child, even before you knew who Bhagwan Baba was. This itself is more than a miracle because you already knew, even though you couldn't express it, you knew totally the pull towards the divine and the divinity. May he always be by you and your wonderful family, Suviksha. You've got the golden opportunity to be a photographer. Please do not stop doing other services whenever you get a chance. Grab it, grab it while you can, because it is most powerful and very, very blessing. You are blessed. Leave, rest, everything in Bhagwan's hand. You don't need to worry about it at all. Uh, you might not understand, but you have been very blessed. 
just leave it in his hands. May Bhagwan Baba bless you and your families right here. Cheers, Bhash Bhagwan Baba from Sharma Mama. Now we'll start the bhajans. संजय साई नाथ सद गुरु जय जय गुरु महाराज गुरु जय जय गुरु महाराज गुरु जय जय साई नाथ सद गुरु जय जय संजय साई नाथ सद गुरु जय जय ओम नम शिवाय ओम नम शिवाय ओम नम शिवाय शिवाय नम ओम ओम नम शिवाय ओम नम शिवाय ओम नम शिवाय शिवाय नम ओम अरुणाचल शिव अरुणाचल शिव अरुणाचल शिव अरुण शिवा ओम ओम कारम भव ओम कारम भव ओम कारम भव ओम नमो बाबा मानस भज रे गुरु चरणम दुस्तर भव सागर तरनम गुरु महाराज गुरु जय जय साई नाथ सद गुरु जय जय संजय साई नाथ सद गुरु जय जय ओम नम शिवाय ओम नम शिवाय ओम नम शिवाय शिवाय नम ओम अरुणाचल शिव अरुणाचल शिव अरुणाचल शिव अरुण शिवा ओम ओम कारम भव ओम कारम भव ओम कारम भव ओम नमो बाबा ओम नमो बाबा 
ओम नमो बाबा मानस भजरे गुरुचरण दुस्तर भव सागर तरण सत्य साई पुवजनी सत्य साई सुभजन जगत्कारी परिपूरण साई परिजन जगत्कारी परिपूरण साई परिजन शांतस्वरूपिणी जननी शांतस्वरूपिणी जननी प्रेम प्रदायी साई प्रेम प्रदायी सत्य साई शुभ जननी जगत्कारी परिपूरण साई परी जननी शांतस्वरूपिणी जननी प्रेम प्रदायी जननी साई प्रेम प्रदायी जननी 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 जया शंकर भाव गोचर शिव चिदंबर जया शंकर भाव गोचर शिव चिदंबर ओंकार प्रति विहार पाप विदूर प्रति विहार प्रति विगा पाप विदूर जगदोदार ब्रह्मपरा जगदोदार ब्रह्मपरा जगदोदार
ವಿಠಲ ವಿಠಲನ ಮಮ ಜೋಹರಿ ವಿಠಲ ಪಾಂಡುರಂಗ ವಿಠಲ ವಿಠಲ ವಿಠಲನ ವಿಠಲ ವಿಠಲ ನಾಮ ಜೋಹರಿ ವಿಠಲ 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 ಹರಿ ವಿಠಲ 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 ಸಾಯಿ ವಿಠಲ 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 ಹರಿ ವಿಠಲ ಸಾಯಿ ಮಹಾದೇವ ಸತ್ಯ ಸಾಯಿ ಮಹಾದೇವ ಪಾರ್ಥಿಪುರೀಶ್ವರ ಹೇ ಸಾಯಿ ಬಾಬಾ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಹೇ ಪಾರ್ಥಿಪುರೀಶ್ವರ ಹೇ ಸಾಯಿ ಬಾಬಾ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಹೇ ಸಾಯಿ ಮಹಾದೇವ ನಿರುಪಮ ಗುಣ ಸದನ ಸಾಯಿ ನೀರ ಜಗಳ ನಯನ ನಿರುಪಮ ಗುಣ ಸದನ ಸಾಯಿ ನೀರ ಜಗಳ ನಯನ ವಿಭೂತಿ ಸುಂದರಗೆ ಸಾಯಿ ಬಾಬಾ ವಿಭೂತಿ ಸುಂದರ ಹೇ ಸಾಯಿ ಬಾಬಾ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಹೇ ಸಾಯಿ ಮಹಾದೇವ ಸತ್ಯ ಸಾಯಿ ಮಹಾದೇವ ಪತಿಪುರೀಶ್ವರ ಹೇ ಸಾಯಿ ಬಾಬಾ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಹೇ ಸಾಯಿ ಮಹಾದೇವ ನಿರುಪಮ ಗುಣ ಸದನ ಸಾಯಿ ನೀರ ಜಗಳ ನಯನ ನಿರುಪಮ ಗುಣ ಸದನ ಸಾಯಿ ನೀರ ಜಗಳ ನಯನ ವಿಭೂತಿ ಸುಂದರ ಹೇ ಸಾಯಿ ಬಾಬಾ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಹೇ ವಿಭೂತಿ ಸುಂದರ ಹೇ ಸಾಯಿ ಬಾಬಾ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಹೇ ಸಾಯಿ ಮಹಾದೇವ ಸಾಯಿ ರಾಮ ರಾಮಂ ಭಜೋ ರಘು ರಾಮಂ ಭಜೋ ರಾಮಂ ಭಜೋ ರಘು ರಾಮಂ ಭಜೋ ರಘುಕುಲ ತಿಲಕ ರಾಮಂ ಭಜೋ ರಘುಕುಲ ತಿಲಕ ರಾಮಂ ಭಜೋ ರಾಮಂ ಭಜೋ ರಘು ರಾಮಂ ಭಜೋ ದಸರದ ನಂದನ ರಾಮಂ ಭಜೋ ದಸರದ ನಂದನ ರಾಮಂ ಭಜೋ ದಸಮುಖ ಮರ್ದನ ರಾಮಂ ಭಜೋ ದಸಮುಖ ಮರ್ದನ ರಾಮಂ ಭಜೋ ರಾಮಂ ಭಜೋ ರಘು ರಾಮಂ ಭಜೋ ರಘುಕುಲ ತಿಲಕ ರಾಮಂ ಭಜೋ ರಾಮಂ ಭಜೋ ರಘು ರಾಮಂ ಭಜೋ ದಸರದ ನಂದನ ರಾಮಂ ಭಜೋ ದಸರದ ನಂದನ ರಾಮಂ ಭಜೋ ದಸಮುಖ ಮರ್ದನ ರಾಮಂ ಭಜೋ ದಸಮುಖ ಮರ್ದನ ರಾಮಂ ಭಜೋ ರಾಮಂ ಭಜೋ ರಘು ರಾಮಂ ಭಜೋ ಸಾಯಿ ರಾಮ ದೇವ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಸಾಯಿ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಮಹಾದೇವ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ 
साई नारायण नटनागरा दुख भंजना नटनागरा दुख भंजना महादेव महेश्वरा करुणा करा अखिलेश्वरा साई नारायण करुणा करा अखिलेश्वरा साई नारायण अल्लाह तुम बाहरीशु साई नारायण अल्लाह तुम बाहरीशु साई नारायण ईश्वरा साई नारायण हृदयेश्वरा पर्तीश्वरा साई नारायण महादेव महेश्वरा साई नारायण नटना दुख भंजना साई नारायण महादेव महेश्वरा साई नारायण करुणा करा अखिलेश्वरा साई नारायण अल्लाह तुम महावीशु साई नारायण हृदयेश्वरा पर्तीश्वरा साई नारायण महादेवा महेश्वरा साई नारायण साई नारायण साई नारायण राम लक्ष्मण जान की जे बोलो हनुमान की 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 तो मदमय तम सोम ज्योतिर्गमय मृत्युर्मृतामय ओ शांति 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 स्वस्थ शांति पूर्ण 
मंगल ओ शांति शांति शांति
ತಂದೆ ತಾಯಿ ಸುಂದರ ತಂದೆ ತಾಯಿ ಸುಂದರ ತಂದೆ ತಾಯಿ ಸುಂದರ ಅನ್ಯಸ್ತಿ ತಮೇವ ಶರಣ ಮಮ ತಸ್ಮಾಕಾರಣ್ಯ ಭಾವೇನ ರಕ್ಷ ರಕ್ಷ ಸಾಯೀಶ್ವರ ರಕ್ಷ ರಕ್ಷ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ರಕ್ಷ ರಕ್ಷ ಜಗದೀಶ್ವರ ರಾಜಿರಾಜಯೋಗಿರಾಜ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಸಚ್ಚಿದಾನಂದ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಂಜಯ್ ಸಾಯಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ ಸರಿ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಜೀವ ಸುಖಿನೋ ಬಂಧು ಸಮಸ್ತ ಜೀವ ಸುಖಿನೋ ಬಂಧು ಸಮಸ್ತ ಜೀವ ಸುಖಿನೋ ಬಂಧು ಜೈ ಬೋಲೋ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಂಜಯ್ ಸಾಯಿ ಬಾಬಾ ಜೈ ಬೋಲೋ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಂಜಯ್ ಸಾಯಿ ಬಾಬಾ ಜೀ ಬೃಂದಾವನ ಧಾಮ ಆಜ ಕಿ ಆನಂದ ಕಿ ಕೋಟಿ ಪ್ರಣಾಮ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ತ್ವಂ ಶರಣ ಮಮ ಚರಣ್ ಪ್ರ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಸೈರಾಮಿಲ್ You've done a great job. More and more, you know, you should be able to uh, express yourself. Wherever you go, the glory of Swami. You must get more and more opportunity to speak on Swami, about Swami. And wish you all the very best for your future endeavors. Jai Jai Sai Ram. Sai Ram. Very good session. Well done. Sai Ram. Sai Ram. Sai Ram. Sai Ram. Sai Ram to all. Sai Ram. Sai Ram. ಸ್ಪರ್ಶ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಬಾಬಾ ತ್ವಂ ಶರಣ ಸಾಯಿರಾಮ್ ಸಾರಿ ಇನ್ನ ಹರಿ ಐ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಫರ್ಗೋಟ್ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಜೀವ ಸಾಯಿರಾಮ್ ಇಸಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಶೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರ್ 